So, what are you doing this weekend? If you're weighing options, we're here to help with cool ideas of stuff to do in the Bay Area December 7 to 10 and beyond. Let's start off with the roof rattling holiday tradition that is modern rock radio station Live 105's Not So Silent Night, or NSSN, to aficionados. The event in recent years has been expanded to two shows and this year's lineups are chock full of A-list acts The Luminers, Portugal. The Man, Vance Joy, The Killers, Weezer, Foster the People, Walk the Moon and more. Jim Harrington has more on the shows here. Nothing says wholesome holiday cheer like the snark-filled neurotic observations of David Sedaris. The popular author and humorist recounted his somewhat less than blessed experiences working in a department store during the holiday crunch in The Santaland Diaries. Now, TheatreWorks Silicon Valley is presenting a one-person show based on Sedaris' memoir, starring accomplished Bay Area actor Max Tachis. Details are here. Speaking of performances drawn from first-class prose, NPR is bringing its selected shorts, live readings of popular works of fiction, to Stanford's Bing Concert Hall, with Criminal Minds actress Kirsten Vangsness as the host. Details are here. If you've not heard the glorious and ethereal sound of Kitka, the Bay Area Women's Choir that traces a variety of Eastern European musical traditions, the holidays are a good time to remedy that. The chorus annual holiday show, Winter Songs, is a delight, and it's being performed across the Bay Area. More details are here. The East Bay hosts two notable classical music concerts in the next few days. On December.7, the Berkeley Symphony presents the West Coast premiere of Raved About Young Composer Anna Kleenes' work Abstractions. Details are here. And on December.10, the acclaimed Takix Quartet and all-world pianist Garrick Olson are teaming up at UC Berkeley. As classical music writer Georgia Rowe puts it, expect to be dazzled. She has more details on the concert here. And in Stanford, violinist Lara Street. John will be playing her famed 1779 Guadagnini instrument to accompany a screening of the 1999 cult classic movie The Red Violin. Details on the performance are here. With Star Wars, The Last Jedi due to land in theaters December. 15, the world will be reminded again what a wonderful actress and personality we lost when Carrie Fisher died last year. Her half-sister, Joely Fisher, Carrie's younger half-sister, is coming to town with a new cabaret show full of songs and memories of her famous family. Details on that show are here. If you are looking for off-the-beaten-path holiday entertainment, the Bay Area always is ready to oblige. For one, comedy improv troupe Killing My Lobster offers a bag of Dickens. And Diablo Actors Ensemble offers the inspirational and Appalachian Christmas. Details on the two shows are here. And if you're overwhelmed by all the Christmas Carol productions going on, know that Pear Theatre in Mountain View has your back with a new comedy titled The Millionth Production of A Christmas Carol. Sam Hewitt's feature on the show is here. And if you're looking for a roundup of many of the Bay Area holiday shows from Nutcrackers to Messiahs and much here, we have one right here.